What's going on YouTube? D-Legend here. Today we have an epic opening and we are going to be cracking open these awesome packs. So we've got Galactic Overlord, we've got Extreme Victory, and last but not least we have Storm of Ragnarok. And we are going to be pack battling against the one and only Casual Yugi Stuff. So Jamie from Casual Yugi Stuff and I decided to do another pack battle um, that we are long overdue for because last time we pack battled we came super close to... Um, deciding a winner, but it was really tough because we both pulled some pretty crazy stuff, and uh, hopefully this time around we get to do the same thing, but hopefully we pull just a little bit better than him so that we can actually beat him this time for sure, to leave no doubts <laughs> in the mind of uh, everyone watching. So make sure you guys subscribe to his channel if you guys haven't seen him already. Um, he's got a really, really sweet channel, and he's almost at 3,000 subscribers, so be sure to subscribe to him. Uh, be, also, be sure to subscribe to myself, um, as I am also super close to 2,500 subscribers, and it really means a lot to me, guys. I'm going to be doing a really cool opening and giveaway at that point. Um, and yeah, make sure you guys check out my previous videos, because I pulled something really crazy recently, <laughs> and uh, you'll catch my reaction for this pull in a video. Um, also, you will also get to see this amazing box that Casual Yugi stuff sent to us, so make sure you guys check out my Mail Day video and my Raging Battle opening video um, that both came out really recently. So anyways, without further ado, let's get started with this video. So we've got four packs of Extreme Victory. Um, super excited to crack these open, but uh, we've also got Galactic Overlord, so I say we start with that because we have ten packs of Galactic Overlord. We're going to open these up, and then we're going to open up our Storm Ragnarok Special Editions as well. Let's get those opened up first, um, so we don't waste any time with that after we start our opening. But uh, yeah, let's hopefully we pull some ulties, maybe even a ghost again. Um, wouldn't mind that at all. And for our packs here, we've got three uh, Storm Ragnaroks. We've got Hand of the Six Samurai as our promo, so we'll leave him back there for now. And then for our second special edition here, see what we can get as a promo. I think, I don't remember the other promos to be honest with you. Was there Light and Darkness Dragon for this, or is that some other special edition? I think it might be this, but... Anyways, first time opening up uh, Storm Ragnarok in a while, so another Hand of the Six Samurai, really cool. So it'll be really good to see if we can pull one of the Nordic Gods. Um, but uh, yeah, aside from that, we've got our our 10 packs of 5Ds, and we've got our 10 packs of Zexal Galactic Overlord. I've never opened up this set. I've seen Casual Yugi stuff open up a bunch of these recently for his subscribers, um, and that's really cool, honestly. I, I'm going to think about doing some box breaks in the future as well for different sets, and hopefully you guys pull some fire from me as well, but I need to, like, to gather enough interest before we can actually do that. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started with this opening. Good luck to you, Casual Yugi stuff, and uh, here we go. Galactic Overlord. I know there's Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon in this, um, as one of the big cards that you can pull. I think he actually pulled one recently as a Ghost Rare, um, and an Ultimate Rare for his subscribers. So, let's see what we can do here. Heratic Seal of Supremacy, Red-Headed Oni, Overlay Eater, Constellar Belt, and Photon Palio, Palio Operative. Uh, Erotic Dragon of Net, Nebthet, Berserk Scales, Mini Guts, and Return. Alright, nothing out of the first pack, that's okay. Moving on to another pack of Galactic Overload. Let's see what we can pull here. Bit of a hollow bend. Let's see what happens. Erotic Dragon of Asset, Insector Gauntlet. Phantom Bouncer, Camera Clops, Light Ray Diablos, and do we have a super? Nope. Evil Tile Lego Suko, uh, That Wacky Magic, Morphos Butter Spy, and Commander of Swords. What interesting names for these cards so far. I've never opened up this set. I barely have opened up any Zexel, to be honest with you. Um, but I, I think Zexel is growing on me. So originally, when I started off Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, back as a kid, I obviously liked the original series, Dual Monsters, and then I liked GX a lot, because GX was when I started buying a lot more cards as a kid. So I do have a really cool GX collection, um, but Light Ray Greffer, 
that guy. That's pretty cool. He's, um, this is like, um, what's his name? He's from LON, maybe? Labyrinth of Nightmare, maybe? No. LOD? I don't remember off the top of my head, but his original card came from one of those sets, I think. It might be another set, though. Um, so nothing so far, but that's okay. And I was saying, GX is probably my favorite era of all of them, just because I had the most cards from that from that era. Um, but obviously, I would like I really do like Five Ds now because I have been opening up quite a few Five Ds packs recently, and I've got more on the way. So we're hoping to pull something crazy out of the Zexel packs to uh, hopefully get me started on the Zexel track as well. But we do have an X Disease monster. What is it after Evo Diversity? Erratic Dragon. King of Atum. Atum? Atum? I don't know. But that's a pretty cool looking card in all honesty. I like that a lot. Let's put him back there. We're not going to sleep him up right now just because we don't want to waste too much time. This will be a longer video. And don't want to waste too much of your guys' time. But let's go into a Storm Ragnarok. Why not? We haven't had much luck with Galactic Overlord yet. Let's see if we can do something with Storm of Ragnarok. I would love to pull a Ghost Rare Odin. That'd be insane. But uh, obviously... Just an ultimate rare would be pretty sweet as well, or Thor, or I think Loki's in here too, right? So let's uh, see what we can do here. Worm, how do you even pronounce that? Worm, Jettelip, Lips, Stardust Phantom, uh, Divine Wind of Mist Valley, Tiki Curse, Joseph of the Nordic Alfar, and Magio Shalian. Interesting names for sure. We'll, uh, we'll separate our piles from each other. We'll have our Zexel pile, and we'll have our um, 5D pile. But yeah, Storm of Ragnarok and Extreme Victory are sets that people don't appreciate quite as much as the other sets in 5Ds. Um, I guess mainly that's because there's no cool cover card dragon on the front of the packs. But uh, these are really cool packs and sets in all honesty. Oh, we got a Super Rare. So we got... Symphonic Warrior Bases. So that's pretty cool. And then Doppel Warrior, Needle Ball, Token Stampede, Blackwing, Kalima, The Haze, and Divine Relic Joliner. Joliner? I don't know how to pronounce that. That's tough. Anyways, let's get back into Galactic Overlord because we've opened up a couple packs of Storm and Ragnarok already. And yeah, hopefully Jamie doesn't pull something insane. Like, I mean, obviously I do hope that he pulls something crazy. Because what's a casual UV stuff opening without pulling something crazy? Um, however, it would be really cool if I could also pull something crazy so we can compete against this guy. Because he claims that he's never lost a pack battle before. Um, so let's be the first to beat him. Doom Donuts, that's a cool card. Blade Bouncer, our Erratic Dragon of Nuit, and Bright Star Dragon. So nothing crazy there, that's alright. Um, these packs were all supplied by Casual Yu Stuff, by the way, and Mr. Joey Wheeler, so shout out to you guys for the packs, other than the Extreme Victory. The Extreme Victory are my own packs, but uh, yeah, thank you to them for supplying these packs for us for today's opening. Alright guys, this is like, what, pack number 5 or 6? Pack number 6 of Galactic Overlord. We've only pulled a Super Rare. Let's see if we can pull something better than that. Light Raid Daedalus. Uh, Nimble and Manta, so like kind of like Nimble Mamonga, but Manta. Erratic Seal of the Sun Dragon Overlord. Interesting card. It's literally a, what an 8-star common no non-effect monster and with zero attack and zero defense. That's very interesting. Falling Current. Insector Crossbow Zectaro. And Erratic Seal of Reflection. So another cool card. <coughs> Um, from this set. It's another super rare, so not terrible, but pretty cool. Nonetheless, it features our first um, card on the actual artwork of this card, which is pretty neat. As you can see. Anyways, moving on. We've got three super rares so far out of what, like seven packs so, or eight packs so far. Let's uh, go into Extreme Victory. Why not? Let's do one of these Extreme Victory packs and see what we can pull. Alright, obviously pulling the Ghost Rare Junk Berserker would be insane, but even the Ultimate Rare would be really, really cool. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Looks like a hollow bin there, so what do we have here? We got Fortissimo, the Mobile Fortress, TG Jet Falcon, Power Up Adapter, we got some Upside Down cards, 
Oh, we got a we got an ultra rare, nice. Mara of the Nordic Afar, Alfar, as an ultra rare. That's really interesting that this one's upside down. We have also got Hushed Psychic Clerk, Cleric, Out of the Blue, Scrap Kong, Boon of the Mechlord Emperor, and Morphtronic Staplin. So pretty cool ultra rare there. We'll sleeve this guy up for sure. Let me just set that down for a second here and grab one of our soft sleeves. I think this guy comes in ulti as well, um, which it'd be really cool like an ultimate rare for sure. But we did get our first um, ultra rare from this pull, and it's technically from the best pack that we have because we do have first edition extreme victory packs. And uh, yeah, these are not cheap packs, guys. Like they are definitely climbing up in price. So it's uh, it's definitely an honor and a privilege to actually be able to open up these packs. Even even the unlimited packs, like I really do like Storm Regnero as a set. And Galactic Overlord, first time opening this, like I said, so. Pretty cool experience for sure. Alright. Insector Ladybug. Nimble Manta. Erratic Seal of the Dragon King. Swallowtail of Butterspy. Evo Diversity. That Wacky Magic. Evil Tile Lego Suko. Commander of Swords and Wattail Dragon. Alright. Nothing crazy again, but we've got three packs left of Galactic Overlord. I say we just go into these packs here. And see what we can see what we can finish with with this set, and then we're gonna move on to our five D packs, and hopefully pull some heat because we've been slacking recently. Phantom Bouncer, Erratic Dragon of Sue, Falling Current, Evil Sword Star Darwinum, Rocket Arrow Express, Evil Tile Lego Suko, and That Wacky Magic Morpho Butter Butter Spy and Commander of Swords. We pulled this card every single pack, I swear. Guys, it's not looking too hot right now. We've only got one ultra rare, three super rares, so let's see if we can pull something better than a super rare from these 10 packs of Galactic Overlord here. I do have hope for the rest of the Storm Ragnarok, uh, Ragnarok and uh, the Extreme Victory packs, though. So let's see what we can do there. Nomadic Force? That kind of looks like um, Exile Force. I'm, I'm guessing that's what it's based off of. You're like Dragon of Sue. Erratic Dr Seal of the Sun Dragon Overlord. Absorbing Jar, kind of like Morphing Jar. And another, I sold you guys, another Commander of Swords. We've pulled this every single pack, I swear. What in the world? Alright, last pack of Galactic Overlord. Let's end our misery here, because these packs were not good to us. And, uh, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully we can end with a Hollow from this set. Alright guys, what do we have here? Gamushara, Camera Clops, Erratic Seal of the Dragon King. Oh, this one. Wait, this is kind of like the other card, the normal card, right? What in the world? Okay, this is pretty cool. I guess you just need this to uh, summon some other cards. Who knows? I don't know. Gaga Gaga Gardena, Evil Tile Lego Suko, another Commander of Swords, guys, I swear. And uh, yeah, nothing there. Not surprising. That's okay. These packs were not good to us, but we still have our Storm Ragnarok and our Extreme Victory, so let's see what we can do here. Alright. Ulti or Ghost? Ulti or Ghost? Alright. Ooh, a nice hollow bend there. Let's see what we can do. Alright, we've got Gam Garm Garmer of the Nordic Beasts. Oops. Token Sunday. Blackwing. Brizote the Tailwind. Oh my god, we got a secret rare, guys. What is it? Uh, Venatus of the Nordic Ascendant. So, pretty cool card there. We pulled the secret rare, and that is super awesome. That will help us for this pack battle for sure. We've got Scrap Worm, Resonator Engine, Kagamusha of the Six Samurai, Zero Force, and Nordic Re Relic Brizingaman. Interesting names, but. Beautiful secret rare that we pulled so far. That's pretty good. That's better than what we pulled thus far out of this opening. So, pretty cool pull. And, uh, yeah, first time I've ever seen this card, to be honest with you, but it's really good centering and stuff. And pack fresh, really clean. So, we'll add that to our stash of hollows back there. We've got six packs left, guys, in total. We've got three Storm Ragnarok and three Extreme Victory. I say we save some of our uh, Extreme Victory packs for later. Let's move on to another Storm Ragnarok, and then we'll do another Extreme Victory, actually. 
Oh, look at that crazy hollow bend. What in the world? I can't even, like, put it together. That's really cool. Okay. Solemn Authority. God or Dammer Rung. Blackwing Brizote. The Tailwind. Forbidden Lance as a super rare. That's a really good super rare to pull, to be honest with you. So I'm happy with that. This guy is really morphed. Or warped, I mean, sorry. As you can see, but we also have March Towards Ragnarok, Resonator Engine, Karakuri, Watchdog, MDL, 313, Sazen, holy moly, what names are these? Divine Wind of Mist Valley, and Tiki Curse. Alright guys, not bad, we'll sleeve up our Forbidden Lance, because that is a really cool pull. And, uh, oops, and then we will move on. Let's do a pack of uh, another Extreme Victory here, why not? Another Extreme Victory pack. Beautiful first edition Extreme Victory. These packs, packs are getting harder and harder to find. And uh, they aren't super expensive yet, but they are definitely climbing in price. So really cool to open up these packs while they are still technically underrated. We do have a massive pile of packs here, as you can see, but we'll clean that up later. We've got Force Resonator, Fortissimo V Mobile Fortress, Lancer Lindworm, Shins Dojo. Is this a super rare? I can't even tell. I think it's a, yeah, it's a super rare, guys. That's pretty cool. Mechlord Fortress, Mechlord Army of Skeel, Red Carpet, Scrap Kong, and TGX SX1. So not bad, not bad. We also have another super rare. So let's sleeve that up as well. I think we're running out of soft sleeves, so I'm not complaining, though. That's not bad at all. I will take hollows all day, every day. All right, two packs of extreme one two yeah two packs of extreme victory two packs of storm ragnarok next let's see what else we can pull out of this set no hollow bend there that's okay god or damarung blackwing bristol brisote the tailwind holy yaksha karakuri ninja mdl 919 quick scrapworm as our rare cosmic compass cyber shield Barry Resonator and Divine Relic Joliner. Joliner? I don't know how to pronounce that, guys. I'm sorry. Not a huge uh, Nordic god person. Or just, yeah, like any of that. I watched Vikings, so that was a pretty cool show. Anyways, moving on to Extreme Victory. Actually, should we save our Extreme Victory for last? Just because they are first dead packs and see what we can... Yeah, let's go into uh, Storm Ragnar to finish this off. I don't think we pulled any... No, we pulled a super rare so far out of Storm Ragnarok from this special edition, because this is the um, second special edition that we are opening. Black Roost and Overpowering EI. Token Stampede, Blackwing Kalima the Haze, and Legendary Six Samurai Shinai. So nothing there, that's okay. Guys, we got two packs left of Extreme Victory. Let's see what we can do here. We need a big hit to actually say we can compete with casual use stuff right now, because I'm assuming he's probably pulled like four ulties, and god knows what else, right? So let's see what we can do here with our extreme victory pack. Doesn't look super promising, that's okay. Axe uh, Dragon Dragonute, Mech Timed Blast. Oh, we got a Synchro, guys, what in the world? TG Catapult Dragon. Tour, tour Guide of the Underworld? What? Wait, what? This card caught... I did not remember this card came from the set, but really awesome secret rare. I think this is, never mind, I think this is probably like the most expensive secret rare from the set, guys. What? Tour Guide from the Underworld, pack fresh. Look at that. That's going to PSA for sure, guys. I am sending this off to PSA for sure. I'm pretty sure this is like a, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure this is like a $100 card, maybe $80 card. But that's a really, really sweet pull, guys. That's awesome. Super happy about that. If I can get the soft sleeve open, that'd be even better. But Tour Guide, for, tour, tour guide from the Underworld. Beautiful, beautiful card. And I thought the Synchro was actually our big pull, but I guess not, hey? Anyways, moving on to our last pack of Extreme Victory. $4.99 was not the price for this pack, unfortunately. But... Uh, not complaining, because we pulled Tour Guide from the Underworld, and we also pulled... What else did we pull? We pulled Mara uh, of the Nordic... something. I'll check later. TGX H1. Do we have a Hollow Bend? We kind of do. TGX H1. 
L. Six style dual wield. Morphtronic Lantron. Another, is this a secret rare? What is it? It's a, it's a trap card. Psychic Shockwave secret rare? What? Another huge hit, guys. Another secret rare. An this is like the exact same thing as last pack battle. I, I pulled so many secret rares, and Jamie pulled so many ult ultimate rares, so um, I don't know who's going to win this pack battle, guys, but we pulled three secret rares. That's pretty sweet. Out of 20 packs. Full House, Clock Resonator, Runaway Karakuri, Morphtronic Staplin, and TGX 300. So guys, that was insane. I swear to God, I did not scale any of these packs. But uh, we pulled some heat out of these packs. So Jamie is, we're going to give Jamie a run for his money. Casual Yee stuff is going to definitely have to uh, try to deal with all these insane pulls. But let's just organize them real quick here and then go from there. So, firstly, we do have a few super rares. Um, a few of them were just promos, so these two were just promos. Hands, Hand of the Six Samurai, two of those from our Storm of Ragnarok from, uh, special editions. We've got Symphonic Warrior Basses from Storm of Ragnarok. Uh, Erratic Dragon King of Atum from Galactic Overlord, as well as Heratic Seal of Reflection from Galactic Overlord. We pulled Sheen's Dojo from Extreme Victory as a super rare. And a Forbidden Lance from Storm of Ragnarok. Super rare as well. So that's pretty good, guys. Um, and then with our pulls here, guys. Did we pull a sing like every We pulled a hollow every single pack of Extreme Victory, right? I swear to God I didn't scale these packs, guys. I don't even own a scale, so I don't even know how that works. But we pulled three Secret Rares and an Ultra Rare. So we got Mara of the Nordic Ulfar. Uh, first edition from Extreme Victory. We pulled the Nadis of the Nordic Ascendant from Storm of Ragnarok another Nordic card. Psychic Shockwave. I think this is a pretty pricey card too. I could be wrong. I think it might be like $20, $10, something like that. So it's a really, really cool looking secret rare for sure. I've had some insane luck recently, guys. And finally, Tour Guide from the Underworld. Secret rare from Extreme Victory, first edition. Wow, four hollows out of four from Extreme Victory. I swear, I promise, guys, I did not scale these packs. Um, but we did really well there, guys, in all honesty. We hit one, two, three, four, five. Five super rares, one ultra rare, and three secret rares out of 20 packs. So that's eight hollows out of 20 packs, guys. No ultimate rare, unfortunately, but we did pull two secrets. I mean, three secrets. So I cannot complain. And uh, yeah, I think that's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully, casual Yugi stuff doesn't pull better than us, but uh, I hope he has some really good pulls as well. But uh, yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to vote for your winner of this pack battle in the comments below. And I am... I can't... Don't really have much else to say, but we did pretty well there, guys, in all honesty. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings in the near future and some Pokemon in the near future. And I will catch you all soon. Good luck, casual Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. And thank you for this pack battle again again.